Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today I'm going to be talking about Windows 11 on the Steam Deck. Um, if you guys saw my stream yesterday, not a lot of people did, but I uh, unboxed and installed uh, Windows 11 on my Stream Deck after upgrading the SSD to a 512 gigabyte SSD. Um, so I have my Steam Deck right here, and I know a lot of people are, you know, back and forth between Windows on Steam Deck and Steam OS and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm just going to put this out there at the beginning. This is not a comparison between the two because I have not, uh, I never ran Steam OS on my Steam Deck. I went, sh literally I took it out of the box and I didn't even power it on. I just went straight to Windows 11 um, right out of the box. Um, now that being said, I do have a couple heavier titles on here in terms of, you know, graphics intensity and uh, CPU and stuff like that. Um, I have Microsoft Flight Sim. I have BeamNG, which is a, you know, physics game. Um, a lot of soft body physics and stuff like that, so it's very uh, processor and uh, GPU intensive. Both those games run at about 30 frames a second, 20 to 30 frames a second, depending on uh, the terrain and your settings. Uh, I also have uh, American Truck Simulator, which runs about 40 to 50. Um, sometimes it caps at like 30, I'm not too sure why. That seems more like a game cap than the Steam Deck, though, because it runs very smooth. Um, and it's very low power at 30 frames a second, so I think that may be a setting that I need to find. Um, not too sure on that yet, though I think it can go a little bit higher. And then I've been playing some older games actually too. Um, I used to play Roller Coaster Tycoon a lot back on my Windows XP computer when I was a kid, and um, there is a uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is available on Steam. For whatever reason, the regular Steam one would not work on the Steam Deck. It said something about the graphics failed to initialize or something like that. Um, that is a common issue on newer PCs. It's a graphics card thing um, with newer PCs because again that was meant for like Windows XP and stuff like that. Um, but there is a workaround for that. You can download a free, um, it's called Open Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 on, just Google it. Um, it uses the Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 files from Steam so you do have to have that game downloaded as well. Um, but it will make the game run on newer systems. So it's completely off right now. I'm going to go ahead and boot it up real quick and just show you guys how quickly it boots up um, and that there's no issues there. Um, so I just hit the button. You can see got the Steam logo. We'll have the little windows loading. Actually, it may be so quick that we don't even have that. Is it on? Oh, yeah, there it is. Sometimes the uh, like the lock screen takes a second to come up, even though it's already booted. Um, but it comes right up. It's very smooth after that. I have it set so um, when there's no physical keyboard connected, you just tap a text box and you get the on-screen uh, keyboard. Um, but performance, very, very nice. Um, I was trying in yesterday's stream to, um, to screen capture the whole setup and everything, but I could not get my adapter, my USB-C adapter. <coughs> excuse me. My USB-C adapter was not working. Um, for whatever reason, it's just a crappy adapter. It didn't have anything to do with the Steam Deck. Um, but I really like Windows 11 on here. I am using Steam Deck tools. Um, so the trackpad works great. Um, this one scrolls. Um, you can also use the mouse over here. Um, you can click with the trackpad or you can use the trigger for uh, right trigger is left click and left uh, trigger is right click. Um, so very nice there. Um, you can also switch between a PS4 for DualShock and Xbox 360 controller mode um, with Steam Deck Tools just by um, holding this button up here that will toggle that mode on Steam Deck Tools. Um, so you can do that within a game. If you need to go to like kind of like mouse and keyboard desktop mode, um, you can do that real quick in the game or and then you can switch back to the controller if you need to like change settings in the game or anything like that. Um, there's also other uh, shortcuts like if you push the Steam button and uh, left D-pad it uh, hits escape. So even though you don't have a physical escape key on here, um, you can get to your escape menu in a game. Um, let me just launch up, let's see, we're, I'll launch up uh, Truck Sim real quick. Um, so it will switch, it just switched to the Xbox 360 controller mode. I know it's kind of hard to see, again, working on the screen cap situation, but game loads right up, um, no issues. Let's turn the volume up there. Um, I play this on my, my PC all the time and it works great. Um, so, works great on here. 
Um, see, all the menus are 60 frames a second, but once you actually get into a game, um, it tends to go down to like 30, and it doesn't like it doesn't drop. It's just 30, like just sits at 30. Um, so that's why I think it's actually a like a software limitation that's going on there. Um, it might have something to do with the resolution because I noticed at this resolution there is no option in um, in Truck Sim to pick a refresh rate. So it might be the lower resolution is just a 30 uh, 30 frames a second refresh rate. Um, I'm not too sure on that because everything else, like I said, it's you know 59, 60 loading through the menus. Um, but then as soon as the game moves in, loads in, as soon even if we're not moving, it's just steady 30. Um, so I got all my my buttons set up and everything here. So I got that one set to go to the outside view, um, so we can move around. You can do that with the touchpad or this joystick right here. Um, and then this one goes back to your inside view. So a lot of stuff can be set up for games, even though you don't have. Um, a mouse and keyboard and like I said if we want to go to escape just hit that and the d-pad and it goes it hits escape so you can go back to your menus and stuff like that um, the buttons on the back are not mappable individually um, because this is set up in an Xbox 360 controller configuration um, you can go into Steam Deck tools and map map these back here to Xbox 360 buttons um, but they are not their own buttons so they have to be you know you can map like this one to a or something like that but r5 is not in itself r5 so that kind of sucks because i was kind of hoping to use these for extra buttons in the game um and then use the the controls on the front for other stuff um i don't know how that works in steam games games that run like the default steam controls if these are mappable to something else or um if these are kind of like an xbox elite controller where they just have to be mapped to you know it's like a secondary controller or something like that um so i'm not too sure on that um, if you guys have any ways to add these in any games or anything like that without them being part of like A or D-pad or something like that, let me know. Um, I might be able to um, map them to something uh, like totally different. Um, like you can see here, we have the R5, 360, R5, that kind of stuff on there um, for the Xbox 360 mode and then the desktop mode, what they do. Um, so like we can make it let's see we'll do um, I mean I might be able to make one of these a it looks like you can do numpad and stuff too so I know like truck sim um, you can set up you know obviously keyboard stuff so I might be able to set these controls outside of um, outside of truck sim and then use that in there I don't think you can set this by application um, I think it is all just the same, but I'll have to play around with Steam Deck tools some more. Um, it's pretty cool because it allows you to do a lot of your Steam Deck functions on Windows. Um, but other than that, you got fan control, your power control, your on-screen display for your frames a second, your battery and that kind of stuff. So you can see all that kind of stuff in games. Um, so very, very nice. Um, I did put the 512 in here. I've got like four games on here. I've got American Truck Sim, Flight Sim, BMNG, uh, and the Roller Coaster Tycoon. And I have... Uh, 208 of 476 gigabytes free so that's pretty good overall the upgrade was easy like I said I live streamed it it's on the channel it's kind of hard to see because of the camera angle um, but it is there if you guys want to check that out um, it you know it went pretty well it was pretty easy um, I wish the stream was better though but it was hard to do um, from that angle and then like I said the Windows installation my capture or my uh, HDMI adapter wouldn't work so I was having issues getting that connected so you guys could fully see the Steam Deck. But everything else went well and it is there if you guys want to check that out. So that is my Steam Deck kind of first day experience uh, running Windows 11. It is Windows 11 Pro. I got a key online for like $3.99 so uh, couldn't beat it. Um, key worked just fine, no issues. Um, so if you guys want to check any of that out, uh, let me know and I will link you to where you can get those keys. Um, I may put it down in the description but I think the link does change time to time. Um, it was just something I found on Google, like one of those um, uh, gamer key websites where you can auction off your uh, your video game keys that you don't want anymore or extra ones or stuff like that. So uh, let me know. And like I said, Steam Deck, Windows 11 Pro, working just fine, playing all the games I play on my PC. Um, and all of them run surprisingly well. I'm Colin with TechOut. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop them down in the comments section below, and I will answer them as soon as possible.